name is Feki. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play series, uh, leveling up a druid. I've been playing this game for many years now, and I never read the quests, so this is going to be my opportunity to do that. Great tragedy has rocked the Tauran tribes and shaken their once stalwart devotion to the Horde. A disagreement between the new Orc war chief Garrosh Hellscream and the beloved Tauran chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof led to a duel that ended in Cairn's death. With his loss, the vile matriarch Magatha Grimtotem launched a murderous attack, attempting to seize control of Thunder Bluff for herself. However, Cairn's brave son, Bane Bloodhoof, successfully repelled the attack and banished the surviving Grin Totem to the farthest reaches of the land. Under Bane's hopeful leadership, the Tauran people now seek to heal their wounds and restore the balance between the various factions of the Horde. To this end, a new generation of Tauran Sunwalkers has arisen to lead their people into the light of a new dawn and the promise of rebirth. As a proud tribesman of Mulgore, you must uphold the honor of your people and safeguard the lands of your ancestors. Okay. Um, so, I could use a bunch of heirlooms here. Um, but I'm going to not do that because I want a little bit of a challenge. Well, Greetings. not sure how much leveling will be a challenge, really. What you see here is the work of the Quillbot Young One. Year after year, they have encroached on our village. The great cataclysm finally drove them from their dens to spread like locusts across the land. And now you see the result. My own mother dead from their savagery. Today you are of age. Today you will take up your weapon and fight for the tribe and avenge the great mother. Follow the path to the east and find my son Gruul. He will lead you in that strike May against the, the Quillbor. Okay. Well, this is the wrong place. See, I could... Yeah, I think I'm going to use the uh, alley mount. I need to change some options as well. Let's, I haven't... I need to turn off the... Uh, the tutorials as well. Welcome to your first true test of the Tauran. Behold, Fergie, the very presence of the Bristleback is a blight. Nothing is left in their wake but corpses and barren land. Camp Narash could become what we see here in a few days, but unless we stand, uh, unless we stand and fight, this will be your rite of strength, the first ceremony of a Tauran brave. Go into the heart of the Thorn Snarl and kill Bril Bristleback Quillbore, then return to me. Yes, sir. And they're just all over the place, right? Uh, with Elims, you pretty much one-shot these things. This might take a bit longer. It'll be a lot faster when I get uh, Moonfire. Fort well, thank you. We may not, we may yet be saved. Despite their size, the Bristleback greatly outnumber us. A pack ambush can easily overwhelm even the largest Tauren. Many new in initiates have taken up arms to defend our home. Some have given their lives, but others have been captured alive. Please find their cages and free them. The, this, uh, the battle should be, keep the cool board distracted. Yes, sir. Yeah, well. Could I have picked both of those crests up at the same time? I'm not even sure. Oh, 
I need to turn on auto looting as well. Oh, that wasn't even what I was supposed to be doing. I need to... I think I need to go to healer. And turn on all the action buttons. These are in the wrong place, but it's okay. I usually use LVI, but I think I'm gonna use a standard UI for this. Whoops. Oh, I didn't even use the map for that. Next to you, our people are free to fight for our home. We've struck a great blow against the Quillbore here. I will stay here and hold the line, but you need to move on. Seek Ardana Thunderhorn. She has taken a few braves to the southwest to root out the rest of the Bristlebank. Okay. Zog Zog. I guess I'm the wrong race for that. I've been playing this game for a number of years now. I started in 2010, or tw no, 2009, I think. More trials lay ahead, Fecky. I hope you're prepared. I am indeed. Farewell. Knowing the ways of our prey is another aspect of the hunt. In the lands they come from, Quibble live in the shade and, and protection of huge thorned roots. When they move, their shamans seed and grow new roots for them to live in. These thorns mar the land and choke out other life, turning the earth around them barren. Go to the south and stop these thorn callers before they have a chance to continue. Be at your back. One of the first lessons you should learn, Feki, is never to underestimate your prey. While, they, while we were distracted by the attack on Camp Narash, more of the bristlebacks swept in unnoticed and stole a cache of our rifles. You can see them to the south now, filling the air with lead. This is the right of courage. Brave the hail of gunfire. Hunt the bristleback gun thieves and bring back Maybe our, our rifles. I wonder how many things I can take at the same time. I might just use the heirloom weapon. <laughs> yeah, so one, one moon fire pretty much kills a mob. Okay. I'm actually kind of recreating the original character that I had. It was called Feki, it was on this server, it was a Torin Druid. I did quit at level 29, no, no, sorry, level 20, because I just found the game boring and I didn't have anyone to play with. But then a real life friend of mine uh, started playing and we both level leveled Druids together. Dungeon uh, grinding had just come out, the looking for dungeon group thing. And we just got to 80, back in Wrath. It was fun. Um, friends really are what make this game good to play. So if you can find a nice group of people, it's uh, it's brilliant. You wish to speak? When the, with the corrupt is slain, the Earth Mother will mend her own wounds in due time. The roots are not meant to thrive here and will wither. Balance we will return. How many of you brought me in this year? Well done, Feki. Respect your prey and the danger it carries. But never fear it. In fear, you become prey yourself. There are more threats to be dealt with here. The bristleback are taming wild boars used against us. 
These armored battle boards have been abused beyond our hope beyond hope of recovery. They may, they must be put down for our safety and their peace. Go to the pens of the south and slay them. Return to me afterwards. We must do more than simply hunt boars here. The eyesore that has been left upon the land must be purged. To give them a wild thirst for blood, the battle boars are force-fed raw flesh. Take this torch and use it to burn the th trowels of meat Very and well. gore to cinders. Whoops. Hmm. <laughs> maybe, maybe I will. Maybe just uh, a weapon. Who knows? Where even is it? The staff's not here. There it is. Let's see what difference this makes. I don't know if anyone will actually interact with me. They're fully aliened up. Booga de Booga. What a name. Fantastic. How may I aid you? Good work, Faki. Those beasts have could have been a greater threat than the Quillborn themselves if we had not taken action now. We've not only wiped the board plans clean, but put a stop to a horrible desecration. Well done. Well. Chief Squealer Thormantle leads the Quillborn. Whoops. Um, it was he set upon Great Mother Hawkwind and took her life, leading the attack on Camp Narash. He fled and hid afterwards, but we found him. He lurked to the west within his foul den of thorns, fending off any braves we sent after him. You've proven yourself as a brave defender of our people, Feki. Kill Thornmantle and bring his mane back to Chief Hawkwind in honor of our great mother. What if I can uh, take all three? something out of place here. There we go. What level do I actually learn these abilities? Oh, fantastic. What brings Have you completed your trials, young one? Go in Chief Hawkin holds, it, holds the mane of Thormantle over his head. The Chief of the Bristleback is slain. Great Mother Hawkwind's spirit has been avenged. Win. The camp is safe, and with the quillboard driven off, all thanks to you, young one. You have my personal thanks for what you have done for my mother, my son, and all of us. It is now time to put Great Mother Hawkwind to rest. Lay the final offering at her feet, Feki, and we'll say our Walk goodbyes. with the Earth Mother. How? There is balance in all things. As Great Mother Hawkwind's spirit takes his final journey, you will begin your first. We shall meet again. Today you have undertaken a rite of passage far more difficult than we ask of most of our youths. Be proud. Now it is time for you to continue on your journey. To the west, beyond our burial ground, you will find a path we wait winding up the mesa. Follow it to the top and speak with Diami Windsor. Walk with the Earth Mother, friend. You will always be walking be here. This is uh, really nostalgic. It's not the exact same quests as the ones I played back in the day, but... Uh, it's nice to be back. After God knows how long. If I can find... Uh, where's my level 10? 
Yeah, level 10. I, the first time I ever achieved level 10 was the 25th of November, 2009. So it's been almost 14 years since I started playing this game. It's it's just the best game. There, like, there isn't a better game than it. And it has its problems, but it's it's just such a good game. I love it so much. If you're prepared to leave Camp Narash behind, I will call the spirits to guide you onwards. Look, Faki, the rolling plains of Mulgore stretch before you. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Where is it? Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to turn it. I'll just turn a few things up. And where is it? That's better. Okay. I didn't read the quest. Drink the water of division. Look, Faki. Oh, um, our home, the cradle of Earth Mother. She here. She provides us with all we could ever need: a peaceful and verdant land. This is what you will fight to protect. Your journey will take you far beyond her sheltering arms to the furthest and cruelest regions of this world and beyond. Below us is Bloodhoof Village. The first step in your true path begins now. Deep, Drink deep of the water of vision and let the spirits guide you onwards. There's a quest over here. I believe it was a Make-A-Wish Kid Foundation. Uh, uh, a Make-A-Wish Foundation kid. Um, he asked to be put in the game. Welcome to Bloodhoof Village, hero. I am glad the spirits have guided you here safe. Feki, there are many conflicts that wound this land. It is my hope that you will not bear witness to as many of them as our elders have. Yet there is one that I would ask you to seek. It will give you some sense of how terrible, if left unchecked, even a small threat can be to the land. Pale male gnolls. Pale main gnolls have settled to the south of Bloodhoof and in a cave to the west. They disrespect our attempts to communicate with them, and they slay the wildlife of Mulgur unbridled. Words are no longer the answer. Goodbye. Okay, murder time. You may have heard of the Venture Company. They are a goblin cartel. I didn't read the first one, whoops. Well, one of these cartels has joined us in the Horde. The venture company is loyal to, only to greed. These greedy goblins and their workers have tried to exploit the resources of Mulgor before to little success. One of our outrunners, Morin Cloudstalker, has gone to check the remains of one of the goblin caravans. If you wish to help him, follow the road out to the village to the Goodbye. east. So there's a lot of quests in this area. I believe... Am I level 5? No, level 6. I can go pretty much anywhere now, actually. I don't have to do Mulgore. I could do Darkshore. In fact, one of my one of my favorite places... Where is it? It's Tears Full Glades. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Silver Pine Forest. It's got a really good story, and it, it's cool. But I think I'll I'll finish Mulgore so I can get the tour and experience up to, like, level 10 or whatever it is. Um, and then... Uh, oh. Well, that's my hardcore run over. I didn't even- what- why is that thing? I'm already dead. I died at level 6. <laughs> okay, then. I really should have checked what that was. That's all good. I'm used to being a night off. I'm usually faster than this. Echo of Corruption. Okay, so... Hold on. I'll pick up that quest last. Greetings. Our sacred wells have been tainted, and I will need your help to fix this. To cleanse each well, I must create a cleansing totem. Then you must bring the totem to the well and perform a cleansing ritual. First, we will create a cleansing totem for the wa winter hoof wa water well. Too many W's. To this land. To do this, this land must offer its aid. Hunt prairie wolves for their paws and adult plane striders for their talents. They are to the southwest. Return to me with the paws and talents. We shall meet again. There's a druid train here, isn't there? Yeah. Hail. This 
Uh, the swoop is a cunning bird and difficult to find and hunt. A collection of swoop quills is a badge of cleverness and determination for a hunter. If you are willing to put, if you are willing to take up this task, then enter the plains and hunt the swoop. Bring me their quills and bring honor to your clan. The swoops may be found anywhere in Mulgore, but your eyes must be sharp to spot them. Okay, and your hooves must be quick to catch them. Or I could just fucking moonfire like twelve of them at once. Is that thing gone? Echo of Corruption. I'm going to Google that at some point. I don't know what that was. Well met. Thank you for taking the time to speak to me, Faki. I am Rule, warrior and teacher. You have obviously obviously reached an age where you must prepare for your tri trials if you are to adventure much further out of Mulgore. If you wish to see... Oh, if you wish a test of your strength, start by seeking out the Wind Fury Harpies to the southeast. They nestle along the mountain's edges away from the road. They are one of our natural enemies here in Mulgore. And will, will be a good gauge of your skill. Is that all the quests? I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, so let's let's do the furthest one first. Or I could, yeah, get more in Cloud Stalker on the way. trying to decide whether I should put heirlooms on because it would just make the killing stuff a little bit faster yeah I think I might do that I'll do it for the next time in fact I'm going to do it now. It's just, it's still not a challenge when you're doing it um, without heirlooms. It's just slower, and I want to go fast. Whoops, what have I made? Legs. What's the right thing? I'm sure I have a high level ring. I don't know where it is. I can't seem to find it. There it is. See, now I should just be able to what moonfire like everything and have it slowly die. I can't now I'm pressing shift as well. What levels is Mogul? One to thirty. Greetings. Hmm. Well met. If Af Ahmo has already explained the minor quibbles of what kind of goblin we'll be driving from our lens, let's get to work. A few days ago we found a venture co caravan traveling under guard of the northern shore of Stone Bull Lake. We'd lost two of our number in an earlier battle, so we were quick to attack and lay waste to the caravan. We left their supply crates, thinking that our torches would destroy anything of value, but given the Vegico salvages have been spotted near the burned wagons, maybe we were wrong. Perhaps you could go to the caravan and examine the contents of the crates. Goodbye. I 
don't think I need skill to sweeps. Too long. I'm not sure what level it will actually take me to. If I um if I do all of Mulgo. So now one other thing that I want to test is automatic um, mount learning. You, you just get the master riding at level 40. And I think all all of the allied races are now unlocked. Maybe I should have made a high Morn Tower, but I just want to like recreate the original character again on the same server. Same name, everything. I don't know, even know what spec I'm going to play. I could do balance. Yeah, I think balance would be good. Requesting it because uh, they've made a bunch of changes to that recently too, and I'm not a huge fan of feral. I don't think many people are, to be honest. Oh, it's already equipped. Okay. Thanks, Blizzard. Oh, one thing I could do is turn the music on. I should have done that at the start, to be honest. There is some bloody good music in this game. I don't really listen to it that often. I usually have... I'm either reading in silence so that I can concentrate, um, or, well, listening I, listening to music on farm, I guess. Because you don't really have to pay attention to farm bosses as much. I mean, you do, but you've done them so many... You know, you've, you've pulled them potentially hundreds of times, so there's not really... You're not learning while you're doing it at the same time. A rating is just... It's just the best thing. You get a shitload of people, and hopefully they're all cool people that were good at the game. Um, uh, that's suspect. Do you have any pause? Yep. Yeah. You've done well, Feki. I will take these and bind their power into a totem of cleansing. I've crafted the totem to cleanse the Winterhoof Waterwell. 
Now you must take it to the well and perform a cleansing ritual. The well is to the southeast, but be warned. Whoever did may whoever did this may still be there, laying in wait. This may prove dangerous, Feki, but be careful. Be careful, but do not let the defilers of our well escape. Okay. Wait, what does this do? Oh yeah, the well. What brings you here? See, I, Jury trainers are useless now, right? I have found them. Going. I know that gathering these quills was not an easy task, Feki. In doing this, you will prove that you are a druid of merit. It is good to have you at Bloodhoof Village. Ancestors watch over you. How may I hate you? Feki, it's good you've taken the task seriously. Respect of the land and its creatures is important. Death and life are a circle, a necessity. One cannot exist without the other. Take time to ponder this, and do well to never forget it. Until recently, a group of dwarves intruded on our land to the west, carving the earth apart senselessly to search for treasure. With the very earth itself, when the very earth itself tore apart, the spirits of the land had they had abused rose up and took their revenge. The agitated earth spirits still roam the former dig site, Feki. You must offer them appeasement. Take this drum with you to the west and play to the spirits. The rhythm may calm their fury and confusion. So what was that echo of corruption thing? I ju it just murdered me. Hail. Did like a GM put it there for a joke? Go in peace. You've done well, Feki. You seem well prepared to travel onward. Let the wind always be Ancestors at your back. You. Okay, where to now? Yeah, let's go pick up that um, Make a Wish Kids quest. I think mean, you have to like find a dog or something. Well, I guess a prairie wolf it would be. What level am I now? Seventh. What brings you here? My grandfather told me stories about his battles with a strider named Maz, Maz Ranash. He told me of his demonic red eyes and razor sharp talons and venomous bite. As fortune would have it, while traveling across the plains, I encountered it and took a nasty bite from my shoulder. He was as terrible as my grandfather described. I have all the parts of the remedy I needed to cure myself. Except a flatland cougar femur. I grow weaker by the moment. Please help me. How? May the eternal sun. I have a bundle of hides from the animals of Mulgor. I must get them to Thunderbluff. A colleague there, Anahu, Ahanu, will use the hides to create leather goods. Will you take the hides to him for me? The quickest way to Thunder Bluff is yeah, 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 yeah sure. Speaking of, <laughs> let's just spam the chat a little bit. Get a few achievements. Oh, whoops. That was a lot of achievements all at once. Peace, friend. Farewell. Be careful. For a small fee, while well, I will give you a wind. For a small fee, I will give you a wind rider to Thunderbluff. There's no faster way to the city. If that is acceptable, speak to me again when you're ready to go. If you're taking those tied uh, hides to Ahanu, then I th I think he's at the Hewa's Armory at the base of the Wind Rider Tower in Thunderbluff, and that's right where you'll land. Peace. Well, let's do these other ones first, and then go to Thunderbluff. In fact, I have an idea. Ah, I have just the thing for you. Oh, there he is. That's the dog I need. Let's do that quest first, because he has some voice acting. I've got bear form now, haven't I? Yeah. Oops. What am I doing? Can't just do things at once. Greetings, traveler. 
Greetings, traveler. Help, Fakie, my prized puppy, Kyle, has run away. I just know he's running around Bloodhoof Village, lost and hungry. Will you find him and feed him? Once he settled... Uh, once he eats, he will settle down and come home. To feed him, you will need to find food. His favorite me meal is tender strider meat. Just venture east, and you should find plenty of striders. Hunt one down and take its succulent meat to Kyle. When you see Kyle in town, put the meat down, he is sure, and he is sure to come to you. Okay. I'm going to go to the caravan first. Actually, I'll go here first. Hearth and then... Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't know what the fastest way to do it would be. I don't normally quest, so I normally skip all of the text. There's so much text in this game that I've never read. Inventory is full. I need to vendor some stuff. I should have done that back in town. Let's just destroy a few things I don't need. I didn't think, I didn't think you could get um, dazed on this man. Right, you can. Okay. Wait, why do I need these? Oh, it looks, it looks like a quest uh, mob. I need an add-on that tells me which mobs are quest mobs, because uh, I am I have Dungo Brain. Is this the, the dwarves? Yes, it is. Oh, no, these are the Earth Spirits. I don't even know which quest I'm on. I've read the quest, and I still don't know what they are. Does it count as calming them if I kill them? Let's find out. No. Oh, I have camp bomb as well? Already? Oh, damn. Do I even have any... Do I just have shred? Oh, I have, sh I have frozen bite as well. Okay. I'm not supposed to be killing these. Whoops. So this uh, flatline cougar could be anywhere, pretty much. I need to keep an eye out for it. Actually, let's set this as a quest. There it is. Am 
I gonna go straight through the the Rim Totem camp? Yeah, probably. Oh, I've been sat on my foot for the last forty minutes. Whoops. I just I kind of like um, pins and needles. If you sit on a foot, your foot for ages. And then you can like kick the wall and it just sends tingles all up your legs. I don't know, I just love that feeling. It's great. Do I have stealth yet? When do I get stealth? Level 13, oh man. How do I get... Hold on. I want to have... There we go, that's more like it. All sides of the crate are stamped with the signs of the Venchico mining division. Notes printed carefully on the side of the decarton in indicate that the contents are due for processing at one of their central plants. Prying open the lid reveals a tightly packed assortment of ore and minerals, more evidence of the Venchico's mining operation in Mulgor. On the top of the ore and mineral minerals, you remove a tightly bound sheaf of papers. Up in the foothills to the east, you can, you can barely hear the sounds of work and see smoke rising from a large fire. Can I? Well, I can see the mine from here. I could probably have seen that from even further away. What am I doing now? Oh, yeah. I don't want um, friendly name please on. How do I turn that off? There we go. Do I have Mark of the Wild yet? No, I get level nine. Next level. Okay, cool. Sweet. I just I like buffing random people. Hey, old fecky. Have you learned anything new about the Venture Co's plans and operations in our homeland? If they plan to exploit our lands as they have others, the Outrunners will be quick to put an end to it. Be careful. It does not appear that the Venture Co is attempting to rob us of our natural resources. It is good to know this is true, and it's now and now it seems we must do something about it. Ancestors watch over this explains the build-up of Venture Co. Employees and equipment we've seen in Mulgor. Those goblins. Their company is expanding too quickly for their own good. It's how you say, show a goblin something, and you can hear the scales in the background. Greedy little things they are. Unfortunately for their business enterprise, we, we Torrent cannot allow them to conduct their operations in our lands. Go to their mine northeast of the Ravage Caravan and send them a message. Farewell. Go in peace. According to the documents you salvaged from the caravan, the Venchico created many plans to attempt to drive us from our lands here, so that they could have free reign to plunder our lands. The depths that they would sink to accomplish their goal disgusts and appalls me. I want the, mas the mastermind behind their plans killed. His name is Supervisor Fitzprocket. Fizzprocket. You will find him at the Venture Co. Mine to east of the Ravage Caravan. Bring me his clipboard. We shall see if we find out anything useful. Okay. Let's go clean this well, turn in some quests, and then go up to the mines. Kill a few dudes while we're here, why not? Dead. 
Damn, they got me. A literal Grim Totem? I didn't realize they actually used Grim Totems. I don't, I don't know what Grim does. I should ding pretty soon. Peace. The Grim Totem. Mole scowls. I'd hope to see the end of my days before Torrin attacked and Torrin attacked other Torrin senselessly on the very plains of Mulgore. But be proud, Feki. You have done a great thing for the land and for our people. The there is more work to be done. We must create a new totem to cleanse the Thunderhorn well. You must gather the claws of the predators of the Mulgore Plains, hunt prairie stalkers for their stalker claws, and flatland cougars for their cougar claws, then return to me. You will find the prairie stalkers and flatland cougars to the east and west. Watch over you. Hold on. I could have... Hail. I probably should have done these quests in a different order. Strength and honor. The land is clearly still in... Oh, oh it's just, it does it by itself, apparently. Remember this, Feki. Do not forget seeing the fate of those who would scar the Earth Mother. Ancestors, watch over you. I wonder if I should go to Thunderbuff now. And hearth back. Uh, my fever I grows worse, and I find my mind drifting into delirious nightmares. I should have known that I wouldn't be able to handle a beast my grandfather was unable to defeat. Do you have the ingredients for the remedy? I fear if I do not clean the infection soon, it will be the death for me. Shall meet ah, again. thank you, Feki. Using the items you brought me, I will be able to create the, re the remedy. I need to stop, to stop the spread of the infection, and eventually cure it completely. I owe you my life in thanks. But I'm, I'll never forget that screeching call when Ma Mazranash came upon me. The blaze of color as its beak descended. Be wary on your travels. Now I have Mark of the Wild. Is there any anyone I can see? Hell yeah. Buff random people. And I can taunt now. I haven't even buffed myself. What am I looking for again? Stalkers and Cougars. There's one. vendor again. It's fine. I'll ding soon and then I'll just be able to get on my uh, my repair mount.
Okay, that's all the animal stuff that I needed collected. Goblin music. Yes. He's gonna push me off the cliff in a sec. Does that also equip? It does. Very nice. It's exactly what I needed, right when I needed it. Oh, I didn't realize that the uh, fizz sprocket guy that I needed was in that group. How many of these do I need to kill? Oh, just two more? Oh, okay. Whoops. Okay, there's another thing that I need to collect somewhere as well. Um. Do I even have the food? Ten destroyer meat. No, I don't have it yet. I need to find a strider then. Well, there's one. That'll do. Let's go catch Kyle. Then, actually, turn to these quests first. Seized with anger at the thought of the atrocities the Venture Cove is willing to perpetrate against us in the name of profit. My anger is somewhat lessened at the news that the villain Fitzbrocket is dead. I will go through his personal effects and see if there is any additional information about what the Venture Co. has planned for the future. Thank you for your efforts, Fergie. Uh, let's go for the shoes. I don't think there could be too much misinterpreting or ignoring of that signal, hmm? The Venture Co. will not know... Uh, we'll know not to take this torrent lightly, or to be so arrogant as to believe that we would allow them to steal the natural resources around us without protest. Be careful. Too right. You just gotta do it. It's uh, it's like the, the rule. If you see someone out in the wild and you have a buff, you put it on them. I think cross realm trading recently got added to the game, so I think I could um, I could probably send my gold from my main character over to my well, right? Regardless of rum. Is that it? Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, hold on. I made a mistake. There we go. Oh, he ran away before I could pet him. Damn. Thank you. Do you have the claws I sent you out to gather? The Thunderhorn Waterwell grows more tainted with each passing hour. Yes, I do. Thank you, Fecky. The purity with which these beasts hunt is vital in the creation of the next cleansing totem. The Thunderhorn Well is a symbol of my own tribe, and to know it has been desecrated by my own kind raises a fury in me which I haven't felt for years. Oh. 
And that's level 10. Hell yeah, I'm gonna swipe. Uh, hold on, let's put that there. Oh, and I've got bark skin as well. Fantastic. Walk with the earth, mother. I think I might call that an episode. Stop the stream. And, uh, do another one tomorrow, I guess. But first, before I go, let's pick balance. So I can be a giant chicken once again. Now we get to pick a talent as well. So I'm going to pick... Well, I have to pick Sunfire, right? Wait, is that up? No. Oh, that's Starfire. There it is. Okay. Alright, if you're watching, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be putting, putting this up on YouTube and uh, continuing the series. So, good night.